you know, here we go again. This one is for large part gonna stay off the coastline, but it's gonna be just close enough that I think we pick up a foot of snow um, on the Cape. I think, I know, I know. <laughs> and I think we pick up a foot of snow down East Maine, which is along the coastal Maine, um, and then it really intensifies. It does something we call bombing out. Anywhere between just off the coastline of Long Island up to the Cape, which essentially means the pressure is dropping rapidly, more than 24 millibars in 24 hours. So that means the pressure is dropping, which in weather terms just really means it's getting very strong very quickly. Do we think this will be the end of it? You know, I wish I could say, but there are snows on the books for New York, for Boston, for Chicago, for DC, all the way through April. Um, back in history, so you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility. On average, the last snow is generally the end of March for many of those cities, the northern cities, but we can go through April with this, and with the winter that we've had, I can't rule anything out. Okay, I'll give you a couple tips that really work. But are they gonna make more work for me? No, they're gonna make you look even better. <laughs> Jackie O sunglasses. 70% of the pollen enters through your eyes and nose. Mm -hmm. Block it out. Wind is not your friend. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, a lot of pollen. Wear those big sunglasses, men mm -hmm. and women alike. Mm -hmm. So you can look good. Even if it's raining. Well, that might be a little bit strange. Right. <laughs> Next. Right. I'm afraid people are going to think I'm, you know, trying to cool if I wear big sunglasses. Or for him, maybe a sombrero. Right. right. <laughs> so you can't eat fruits and vegetables? During the season, 70% of us who have seasonal allergies get made worse by eating certain fresh fruits and vegetables. And That's as a sad. result of that, they <laughs> suffer it's called oral <laughs> allergy <laughs> syndrome right. to match the polar pollen syndrome. What about shakes? Do they count too? If they the have thing? berries and fruits and mm -hmm. you scratch your itchy throat and drives you crazy, they may ruin your allergies and make you feel lousy. But, you know, I don't even think people think mudslides still happen. Yeah, but they do. And the, the key word is liquefaction. When you have enough water uh -huh. and you have an earthquake, you know, you have mudslides, then the, the soil actually turns almost into a liquid, mm -hmm. almost into a liquid. Mm -hmm. So one day you're walking on the surface of the earth like a rescue mm -hmm. crew, and then all of a sudden the whole ground turns into a liquid and you sink into quicksand. And you can't tell by looking at it, Micho, that it's something that's going to sink, It's right? difficult. It it's looks a tipping like you point. can just walk on it. That's right. You can walk on it, right? And there's a tipping point. When roughly 30% of the soil is water, mm -hmm. that's when the friction goes to almost zero, and you literally can sink into the soil.